Hello everyone, greetings to you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I believe you're doing good. Welcome to another episode of Prophetic Time. I believe these videos are blessing you and helping you to come more closer to God. Those who are watching me for the first time, this is Evans Francis from Nagpur, India. I'm an evangelist into full-time ministry from last 16 years. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do subscribe at the bell icon. So whenever I come live, I share a video or a post, a dream from the Lord, a vision from the Lord, you will be notified. And I believe in today's message, God is going to speak to you immensely. And it is a very powerful word. It's a simple but powerful word. And I believe that this word will speak to you. In the end of this message, there is an important message for you. Uh, do watch it and stand with us as the Holy Spirit leads. So without wasting a lot of time, let us pray and dive into the word of God. Father God, we come to thy presence in this wonderful time, Master. Lord, we come to your throne of grace. Lord, I give your children into thy hand, their lives into thy hand. I give to this word into thy hands. You know the trials they are going through. You know the suffering they are going through. You know the, the, the temptations they are going through, Master. Lord, I pray, Abba, that you help them and speak through today's word, Master. Help me to become be a mouthpiece for you master and lord let your will be established in jesus precious name we pray amen 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 when we start to believe in jesus you know before coming to faith we used to live in the world and we have done anything what we want and we never cared about you know what god will feel about it but the but when we come to the faith and when we receive Jesus as a Lord and Savior, you know there is a conflict, constant conflict within ourselves. You know who that to, whether to choose the world or to walk godly. There are a lot of people who simply lack the resolve to genuinely follow Jesus. You know many of us have been surrounded by those kind of people in our lives uh, you know these kind of people they follow jesus when it's easy you know or they follow jesus when they are a part of a group of friends uh, who are all doing it like when they are in a situation where everybody's praying they will pray you know but the moment they are in the world they are like the world uh, you know according to the situation you know they try to fit in but they lack the verb to do it when it's hard you know but to stand alone you know to actually follow jesus is difficult beloved and there is a great irony in the christian life uh, following jesus ushers you into a life that is simultaneously the most joyful and the most difficult on earth when we read john 10 10 it says it tells us that jesus gives us life and life more abundantly when we read Psalm 16:11, it says uh, that in God's presence is the fullness of joy. You know, uh, in Psalm 84, verse 10, it says, it tells us better is one day in God's presence than 1000 days anywhere else. Uh, but when we read Matthew chapter 16, verse 24, it tells us that if we are going to follow Jesus, we must take up our cross and uh, follow him. You know, I don't know that what kind of image that gives you, but in the ancient world, it was not a pleasant war. It was not a pleasant one. You know, today people wear cross made out of diamonds around their necks as a piece of jewelry, you know, but back then it was a symbol of oppression, torture and death that caused horror in people who saw it uh, you know to actually go all the way with Jesus you have to have a strong grasp on why he's worth it uh, you know and that's what we see today you know when we go through today's message uh, in, in Matthew 1 and 2nd chapter you see beloved Matthew shows you right out of the gate how difficult it is to follow Jesus and how Jesus' first followers found the motivation to do so. You know, you know, if I asked you 
the name of Jesus' first followers, you probably get it wrong. You would say, you know, it's Peter, James, John, etc. But uh, Matthew starts uh, much earlier than that. You know, when we, when we read Matthew chapter 1 verse 18 and 19, it says, This is how Jesus the Messiah was born. His mother Mary was engaged to be married to Joseph. But before the marriage took place, while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant through the, through the power of the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her fiancé, was a good man and did not want to disgrace her publicly, so he decided to break the engagement uh, quietly. You know, before we enter into the word, you know, let's talk about betrothal. You know, it was a Jewish custom called uh, Kiddushin. A young man and his fiancée would get legally married, but they had to wait a year before they were allowed to live or sleep together. But in every other way, during the betrothal, you know, you were considered married. Uh, and to get out of it, uh, you had to get an official divorce. Uh, however, the spouse do not live together at the time of the Kiddushin and the mutual obligation created by the marital relationship do not take effect until the new sin is complete. The new sin finalizes the marriage process. The husband brings the wife into his home where they begin their married life together. You know, during this betrothal period, uh, Mary shows up pregnant. Uh, can you imagine for a minute how painful and humiliating this was for Joseph? What would it have been like to hear this from the girl, you know, you just married and haven't been allowed to sleep with yet? Uh, you know, but Joseph was, for whatever it was uh, worth, a good guy and kind so he arranged to break the betrothal quietly legally he could have her you know stoned you know but when we read from verse 20 it says as he considered this an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream Joseph son of David the angel said, Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and she will have a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sin. All of this occurred to fulfill the Lord's message through his prophet. Look, the virgin will conceive a child, she will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph woke up, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded and took Mary as his wife, but he did not have sexual relations with her until her son was born and Joseph named him Jesus. You know, have you ever wondered, beloved, that why did God do it this way? You know, it ruined both of their reputations. Uh, the angel didn't show up and explain the situation to everybody else. He didn't send out uh, a, a news bulletin, you know. But everyone else from everyone else from this point on thought of Mary as an impure girl. And when Joseph married her, it seemed like he was confessing that the baby that the baby was actually his uh, this pregnancy ruined both of their reputation in the community just because mary lived 2000 years ago the don't assume that she was vastly different uh, her dreams for her own beautiful wedding day was shattered ruined not by an angry mother-in-law but by jesus himself not only that eventually they would have to flee their homeland 
because of Jesus. Uh, now, my question to you is, is this abundant life? Why did God do it this way? I think the Holy Spirit is laying out the pattern from Jesus' birth for how people will have to follow him. As I'm sharing this word, I strongly feel in my spirit, you know, I'm speaking to somebody out there. You know, I can feel the strong presence of God as I'm sharing this. Uh, beloved, Joseph is not just an inspiring figure from the past, but a compelling example for the present. Uh, you know, the question arises is what following Jesus looks like? Uh, I see four elements in that, beloved. First, uh, you know, following Jesus it needs trust and absolute obedience. Uh, here we see that Joseph had to believe the impossible and risk everything on it. Uh, you know, it was not easy for him, but you know, he had to believe what the angel said. Second, uh, here we can see about the acceptance uh, of a sentence of death. Uh, Mary's out of uh, wedlock pregnancy put her under a literal death sentence in Jewish law. Beyond that, Mary and Joseph had to die to their good name, their cherished dreams and their families and their homeland. Uh, you know, it was a death sentence for their dreams and desires and plans. Uh, remember, many times God is going to direct you, some of you, you know, to do something that your parents will not understand. Maybe your church will not understand. Maybe your family will not understand. Maybe your pastor will not understand. And they will tell you that you are crazy and forbid you. And you are, but uh, you need to know that you are going to have to choose uh, that uh, do I obey God or please him or I please people or the society and it's going to feel like a death. Uh, but that is very, very important to understand. Sometimes uh, when God asks you something to do, you know, society will never understand and accept. Uh, do you imagine that today, you know, something like that happens, how, you know, you are going to go through it? it when Christmas comes, when people, you know, celebrate drinking, enjoying, partying, you know, I never saw a church sobbing in Christmas service uh, because everybody is happy that Jesus is born. But have you ever wondered that what Mary and Joseph would have went through? Do We all know that during pregnancy, you know, the wife, the mother needs to be happy because whatever she goes through that is coming in her, in her baby, you know, and just imagine the stress, the struggle. She had to leave her house. She can't be, her par be with her parents. Uh, and the most important during during delivering, you know, she had to do it all alone. She was not, uh, you know, a maid. She was not a person who was doing that for her. But everything was new. But Holy Spirit helped her. Just imagine the stress, the pain. You know, it was like a death situation for them. Yes, God's work was happening through them. But, you know, it was not easy. And many times we feel like when Jesus comes, it's the happiest time. But just imagine because of that pregnancy, because Jesus was in the womb, both Joseph's and Mary's life was shattered. You know, they were living in a pain like they didn't plan this. They didn't want it this. You know, no, nowhere it's written that Mary was praying, Lord, choose me to be your son's uh, mother. Nowhere. It was God's decision. But, you know, it was tough. The fourth element we can see is that there was self-denial. You know, verse 25 tells us that Joseph didn't know Mary or have sex with her until after the birth of Jesus. Uh, not only that, he had to wait for a year and betrothal. He waited another year and that's a significant thing. Uh, you know, following Jesus means denying yourself some things you might otherwise uh, enjoy. You know, I know servants of God, when their wives were pregnant, uh, then they can't have sex. They have went to prostitutes. Uh, I know so many people like that. Uh, what I mean to say is here, Joseph shows a character of being a godly man. 
he's waiting you know i've seen marriage breaking because husband says i'm not getting sex and i'm i'm just breaking it off i want sex and you know i always ask those couples when they for they when they uh, come to me for counsel i ask them what if you know you know something bad happens to you and uh, your wife will not have will not get that sex with from you do you think that your wife will leave you for someone else uh, and uh, you know the situation backfires at them you know but here why it is written it anything in the bible it's written is very very important because there are men out there who think that uh, their wife is a sex machine you know and they just want sex from them they don't want to input anything in their marital life and they just want to enjoy but that's not the christian marriage is all about that is uh, it is very very important beloved to have self denial here joseph is showing the characteristic of self denying you know he was he nobody will say a husband will never say no to sex but you know here he said he waited you know that's a sign of a godly man and the fourth thing we can see is that willingness to embrace in convenience you want to be used by god you want to see the hand of god you need to always be willing to embrace uh, in convenience uh, do you realize beloved how much jesus's birth complicated joseph's life uh, you know it messed up his relationship with his family his friends his job you know eventually he had to move and start over remember serving jesus is rarely convenient uh, you know beloved it's not easy that's why we need to understand that following jesus is not easy but you know it, it at the end it will be all worth it uh, one last question before i close this message uh, just uh, imagine what would have happened joseph had not chosen this route you know he would have said to the angel i don't want her that's not my child i have a happy business i have a family i have a friend i have friends my family is here my house is here i will get somebody else sir you know if he had chosen an easy route and not believed the angel divorced mary and cast her aside and married a different girl you know he might have gotten that story book wedding and you know by he had a nice little carpentry business but he would have missed out on jesus uh, you know beloved uh, guess what happens if you choose the easy life and you choose not to forgive you choose not to sacrifice you would miss out on jesus and his plan in your life beloved god has a plan but it's not going to be easy you know christian life is not like a walk in a park you will have to go through trials you will have to go through suffering you will have to go through situations you don't want but know that god is in control for mary and joseph it was not easy the more you you meditate on it the more you think about it you know you will be surprised how they have gone through mary was not 30 years old not 25 years old she was in her teens just imagine how much stress that was for that girl but you know god helped her it is not easy path so it is very important beloved that uh, you know trust in him walk with him follow him you know good things take time and uh, you know the greater the destiny the greater the sacrifice i believe this message has blessed you let us pray father god we come to thy presence in this wonderful time master lord we come to your throne of grace thank you for all the good things you have done in our life master thank you for always being with us taking care of us providing all our needs according to your riches and glory I give your children into thy hand, their lives into thy hands, Master. Lord, you know the trials, struggle, pain, suffering they are going through, Master. 
and I pray, Lord, that you keep your nail-pierced hands upon their lives, Master. Heal them, deliver them, restore them, Master. No plans of the devil prevail, Master. I set them free in the name of Jesus, Master. May your hand of power, provision, and protection be upon their life. For Lord, fulfill all their needs, Master. Provide all their needs according to your riches and glory, Lord. Lord, help them, guide them, instruct them, protect them, Master. Lord, you're doing it for that. I thank you. I curse that spirit of infirmity, command it in the name of Jesus to leave their lives, to leave their plans right now in the name of Jesus. There is a person you're watching me. Somebody has approached you uh, and trying to scam you uh, in the name of uh, putting a tower, you know, mobile tower in your house or in your in your uh, field or land and in return they're they're talking about taking money you need to pay to the government and all those stuff it's a scam the lord is telling it's a scam don't put your hard-earned money in that it will be lost Lord, i pray for your children master i pray for your family master give them the wisdom and knowledge and strength and courage lord to take the right decisions master all the plans of the devil, all the plans of the evil one, I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, you're doing it for that. I thank you, Abba. Lord, bless them. Lord, deliver them, Master. Give the desires of the heart, Master. Use them mightily for your kingdom's glory. Give them a burden for losing soul, Master. Give them a hunger for the things of God, Master. Give them burden, Lord, for the things of God, Master. Lord, you're doing it for that. I thank you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen, Amen, Amen. I believe this message has blessed you. If this message has blessed you, see to it that you share this message with your friends and loved ones. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do subscribe at the bell icon uh, so that whenever I come live, I share a video or a post, a dream from the Lord, a vision from the Lord, a message from the Lord, you will be notified. If you're using an Android phone or an Apple phone, you can download my app. App name is Evans Francis. And if the Lord leads you, uh, become a pillar of fire or a pillar of cloud of a small ministry. The links are also there in the description below. In the description, you can you, you can get my WhatsApp number, my email address. Feel free to share uh, your prayer request. Uh, you can get in touch. Feel free to get in touch. Please see that you don't call directly. Uh, just message me on WhatsApp. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, may God bless you. May his face shine upon you. Keep smiling. Stay blessed. Shalom. So you're ready to take the leap and get married. Congrats. Before you analyze, plan, and stress over your wedding day, don't forget about one important thing, your marriage. Here's the great news. You can prepare for a healthy marriage with a self-guided resource right from home. One study revealed a 31% reduction in divorce in couples who completed premarital counseling or marital therapy. Courtship to Marriage is here to help. Our course and lessons confront the struggles, harsh realities, and everyday routines of married life. This program has been trusted by many couples who are looking to move to a new level of connection. But don't just take our word for it. You can try your first lesson for free. You're also protected by our 30-day money-back guarantee once you enroll with Courtship to Marriage. A long, happy marriage is right around the corner. Try your first lesson today at CourtshipToMarriage.com. I believe today's message has immensely blessed you and I would like to share something very important message with you and I'm making this video because God asked me to. We strongly believe in the principle written in Matthew 6 3 where it says that when you give to someone in need don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Being in full-time ministry for over a decade God has enabled us to do many things for the needy body of Christ. And whatever we do, people who are the pillar of fire of our small ministry knows about it. Recently, God enabled us to distribute food in the streets and we caught something that was very painful on camera. I would like you to have a look at it.
बस पानी नहीं समझे When we were giving food to those on the roadside, we met an older man who was eating newspaper. He couldn't believe it till when we brought food in front of him, and uh, even our team was totally shattered and heartbroken after seeing such a scene. What we saw is still fresh in our heart and mind, and we pray to God. that we would be able to do more for such people on the daily basis when we do such activities uh, we don't post it online we don't post it on social media uh, because we know that our heavenly father sees what is been done in secret being sensitive to the needs of other believers is one of the biggest responsibility of the body of Christ and if the Lord leads you become a pillar of fire of our small ministry there are other things that we also do and if you like to know more about it you can get in touch with me via email or whatsapp and uh, all the details are there in the description below suppose you can't uh, stand with our ministry financially don't be disheartened instead support our ministry through your valuable prayer and become a pillar of cloud of our small ministry always remember even jesus could feed the thousands when a small boy sacrificed his lunch will you stand with me alone i can't together we can do small thing for the kingdom of god stay blessed shalom